Still more than two years away, but members of the Joint Finance Appropriations Committee met at the State House today for state budget talks for the 2023 fiscal year. Now, budget talks can be very dry, not usually something that makes for a visual news segment, but today there were several items that caught our eye, including for the first time funding all day optional kindergarten. Now, some schools already offer all day kindergarten, but it is funded locally, not by the state of Idaho. Lawmakers introduced a bill this past session that would fund the program at a cost of $42.1 million per year with the first three years paid for with COVID funds. And that bill never made it out of committee. Now, back in August, the State Board of Education unanimously voted to recommend that lawmakers do fund all day optional kindergarten for the state of Idaho. Right now, the state only funds half day, but today we learned it is budgeted for the 2023 fiscal year. Full day kindergarten, that is. However, right now, full day optional kindergarten is only budgeted for those kids who are considered at risk. So the request was not to include all of those who want to enroll from kindergarten just at risk would be funded. That is my understanding, you know, that the, the board voted for all day kindergarten for everyone, but the superintendent's request does not reflect what the board voted. It is adjusted to account for this at risk criteria. It's Jared Tardo, who's the deputy division manager who you just heard from. He says that there are still a lot of pieces that need to be worked out before everything is approved. So this could all change. Now, Senator Janie Ward Engelking, a Boise Democrat who just heard asked that question. She also brought up the $1.1 billion in the state fiscal recovery fund that have yet to be spent. One particular thing that caught my eye was where it said that uh, category B, ha we can provide premium pay for up to $13 per hour in addition to base pay to workers performing essential work during COVID-19. And in that category, it mentions educators and other school staff. So I guess I'm wondering, I don't see a request for that um, in this budget or even a placeholder. And so if districts choose, they could increase salaries, they could do bonuses if it means keeping the schools open. That is an allowable category under the state um, fiscal recovery fund for premium pay for those uh, workers who have direct contact with the public, who have high, high incidence of direct contact with, with the public. Those funds could be requested by any agency. I guess my concern here is that I'm hearing over and over again from school districts that they're losing bus drivers and that paraprofessionals are quitting. And even teachers are resigning mid-year because um, the working conditions are difficult and uh, it's kind of a no-win situation. I guess I'm, I just want to make sure we're looking at every avenue for providing additional funds to incentivize those people to stay in the schools and help us keep them open. Again, that money has to be requested through a state agency in order to be approved and distributed. Overall, Idaho agencies are asking for a 6.1% increase from the general fund over the last year. So combined general fund, dedicated fund that a request of $11.87 billion. I think that's $1.187. We'll have to check on that. Now, agencies have until October 22nd, this coming Friday, to submit any revisions. JFAC will still need to make a final approval to everything that won't come until the next legislative session. Now, budget discussions will continue again tomorrow. By the way, if you're keeping score at home, Idaho's surplus has grown to over $900 million.